Want to update you now on Fiona, our sixth name storm. The hurricane out there made landfall yesterday in Puerto Rico. Today, early this morning, it was the Dominican Republic that took the hit and it came in early around Punta Cana. It has been moving off to the northwest over the eastern part of the Dominican Republic. And you can see that center of circulation moving right there and really just starting now to cross back out over the water. So it's producing a lot of wind, a lot of rain over the Dominican Republic, and it's going to get back out over the water, and it's going to likely intensify as we go through the afternoon and into the evening. We're going to be watching that. Who's next in line? Well, you see the Turks and Caicos Islands. We're going to be watching these areas very closely. They're under warning as this system is forecast to move off to the northwest and then eventually turn more to the north. I think the Bahamas are going to be okay. You'll notice on this forecast track how it's moving along. Again, right now movement northwest at 8 miles per hour. Maximum winds down to 85. Earlier it was 90 mile per hour wind, so it's down a little bit because it's been moving over land. But as it gets out over the water, it should intensify, drawing on that warm, moist air, and that really fuels these things. Right now, Hurricane Center believes it will reach Category 3 strength. That's a major hurricane as it's turning to the north and eventually the northeast. You'll note on this path, the wind, the flooding rains, all those direct impacts from the system, really the, the roughest stuff stays far to the east of the east and the southeast U.S. So that's good news for us. But I will tell you with the major hurricane, just a few hundred miles offshore, we're going to see some really rough surf coming in. It looks like end of the week and into the upcoming weekend, especially Thursday, Friday and into Saturday. So we're going to be watching that increasing threat of rip currents. And of course, we'll also worry a little bit about the, the potential for some beach erosion. We'll have to see just what the surf is like coming in late this week. But that is the forecast track. Now you might be wondering, OK, is this uh, track that we have a lot of confidence in? Let me show you the spaghetti plot on this, and you'll notice the hurricane models all very tightly packed. You know, they all keep it on the same general track, and then they move it off to the northeast and eventually to the north. So nothing brings it in towards Hampton Roads. And I will tell you, as we look at the global models, we have a cold front that is going to push through here. We've got one that's kind of weaker that's passing by to the north, but it's this one right here that comes through late Thursday that will take this thing and kind of kick it off to the northeast. So again, we're feeling really good about that. Here in Hampton Roads, you know, along the coast, we're seeing temperatures today and for the next several days in the upper 80s. But behind this front on Friday, temperatures dropping into the mid 70s. It is a significant front and that will work to keep this thing far out. We will need to keep a close eye to Bermuda as the center of this thing may come by Bermuda before moving off to the north. So that's the latest on Fiona. Be sure and check back with us at 13 News Now. We'll keep you updated.